Wow. I guess I gotta make it simpler. I thought I made it simple the first time. People are like, you must not see the documentary, man. I'm like, okay, you know, this is the truth behind the breakdown of that murder rap documentary. Okay? And I'm gonna make it even more simpler for you. Why wasn't Puffy arrested? If all of this is true, they have all this evidence. Why wasn't he arrested? Hmm? The case is still open. Why wasn't he arrested? Hmm? They have enough right now, right? To close the case, right? Because the person that did the shooting, according to to Keith E.D. is dead. So they could close the case. Why is the case still open? Oh, first they said Suge did it. Remember they had about three, four books saying Suge was the one that did it. Then in 2002, Oh no, we had it wrong. Biggie did it. He came down to Vegas. He rapped about it in the song. He gave them the gun because he wanted to know it was coming from his gun. Then that got proved to be a lie and they couldn't, couldn't use Biggie no more because he was at the crib watching the Tyson fight with all these witnesses. So now he had to come up with a new lie. Oh, now it's Diddy. Yeah, let's use Diddy. That sticks. Who they gonna come up with next? Why would they be implementing all of this on a video? Hmm? And I'm gonna tell you why. None of this is admissible in court. It's hearsay. There is no links. There is no evidence that link Puffy transferring money or making any agreements with this Keefe D. Okay. Puffy knew him, man. He worked for Diddy. He didn't work for Diddy. He was somebody that was cool with Diddy because he could provide security. Back when they were cool, KPD and the rest of his group were there with Pop, was there with Big and Puff. It was all love. This is before KPD was linked with Haitian Jack and, and Henchman and all of them dudes. That's how they met Puff. They met New York. Now all of this about, oh, Zip said do this and Zip said do that and they paid some money. Listen, if I had a problem with somebody who happened to be affiliated with, uh, let's say, the BDs here in Chicago. Let's say I got a problem with one of the BDs. Right? Me and him got a problem. And I got friends who are GD. I know they're opposed to the BDs. So I will hire them for extra security if I'm going in territories that might involve BDs. Right? Now, if one of those BDs decides to jump on somebody who's a GD somewhere else, the person that's involved with don't hunt like me or whatever jumps on one of them when I ain't even around beats on one of a high ranking member they come back hours later and tragically end that person's life would you think I paid them to do that? 
or that just happens to be happenings dealing with gang shit. Just so happens, this is the person who was opposed to me. And here's another question. Why was this put out on video? Hmm? What was the political reason of putting this on the video? Because this slander, if anything, one. Two, because he knows Puffy ain't heavy. Ain't a heavy dude in the game to be ordering hits. Especially back then, Puffy had just got in the game. Puffy had just started to make some money with Biggie. They weren't established yet. He wasn't Forbes Biddy, did he yet? They just started to sell some records. And another thing, why would Diddy want Tupac killed? Tupac ain't ordering hits on nobody. He makes songs. So why in the world would he want to shoot him and kill him and bring all that drama towards himself? When he really didn't want nobody dissing him because he wanted to make money. He wasn't stupid enough to alienate fans. That's why he was like, look, we're not putting out no response records, no nothing. You know, you want to go to war with him and have his fans not buying your records? You know, like... Uh, we ain't going to do that. We're going to just keep it moving like this and just make our records. Because we got fans on the West Coast and the East Coast. Puffy about selling records. That's what he's about. Killing Tupac wouldn't, wouldn't be a threat to him. Now if you said, oh, well, sure night, well, then they're there. that would make more sense, wouldn't it? But if you clearly hear the story and hear how it went down, they weren't aiming at Suge Knight. So if you're listening to the story from Keep It In, it was like, man, we tried to smoke them all. Why did it take so long? From the time where y'all had the meeting, talking about it, this incident just happened to ha be that just happened. Y'all go to the fights all the time. So y'all just happened to be going to the fight. Y'all didn't go there for no hit. And, so, and then this uh, the hit was supposed to happen at... They were going to do the hit at 662. They were going to do the hit because of what happened. Because he got jumped. And they was like, I don't know what they think this is. Just just be honest. If you're going to really be honest. But to roll over on Puff and just say, well, I'm going to throw Diddy name in it because it's going to help me get out of this situation. This is the same guy. Y'all forgot he blamed Suge. When it first happened, he was giving up Suge's name. Now he said, "Oh man, that was BS, man, and that was just some BS." Now he here giving up Diddy, and y'all just eat it right on up. Anything they show you in a documentary, y'all just believe it a hundred percent, like this is the truth. Y'all don't even ask yourself the questions that common sense would ask you. And here's another question you should have been asking yourself. Why come, or how come, they met Diddy the night Biggie got killed, and they were talking about, oh, it's this Pyrus and everything up in here, and they was like, oh, I know him, he can come on in. They didn't come in like, hey, where's my money? Hey, dude, I've been trying to get up with you. Your man took the money. and da, da, da. No mention of the money. Right? Supposedly they got words, Zip got the money, but Puffy paid Zip, but Zip didn't pay them and all that, right? I don't remember them talking about going to Zip to get the money. Why wasn't y'all trying to get y'all five hundred thousand dollars if that was the case? That y'all came up to the conclusion that well we did half the job, so we should get five hundred dollars instead of a million. It's it's fiction, people. It's fiction. And if you listen to it, it depicts itself as fiction. And 
And because they put this evidence out in the public and in a movie or on a documentary and a book, it cannot be used as evidence. You can't use it as evidence. So if this was something that they was going to use for evidence or it was something that could make Puffy guilty, they would have used it. But they know it's BS. And this is Katie who was taken off of this case because Internal Affairs is doing an investigation on him because he misused purposely information on another case prior to this. So, so that they didn't want to damage their case, they took him off. The only reason he was put on this task force was to disprove Poole's theories. That's it. So that the, the LAPD can get past any type of wrongful death lawsuit. That's why there's no mentioning of cops being associated with this. Oh, that had nothing to do with anything. Let's focus on this. This is the juice. Puffy. We got a guy to go on tape that said, Puffy did this. And go watch some Russell Poole interviews too. He starts bringing up lyrics from rap songs Tupac made and trying to piece them together with the stories that he got. He's all about being a celebrity, keeping his face out there, doing these interviews to sell and make some money off Pac's death. Pac and Biggie's death. That's what he's into now. He got his retirement coming in. Now he wants to make a book too and make some money like Russell Poole. But you guys wanted to eat it up. Nobody else told you to do this. Y'all chose to eat it up. So I'm, I hope you ask yourselves these questions. I hope someone can answer these questions that I just supposed. And you should be ashamed of yourself if you didn't ask yourself these questions from watching the documentary. Because it's only common sense. I'm not somebody who's fascinated with lies. I can see right through the BS as soon as it's presented itself. So I had to do another video to tell you the same result. Okay. Diddy did not pay anybody for the death of Tupac and Suge Knight. It didn't happen. It's fantasy.